button the wrong way this time. Hello YouTubers, this is Alan B. Me, and today I'm going to demonstrate the EEE PC 900A running Ubuntu Lucid Links 10.4, the final version with all the updates as of May the 3rd, 2010. Of course, the EEE PC is a Atom processor with one gigabyte of RAM, has an internal standard 4 gig SD drive. This version of Ubuntu, I'm running on an external SD drive, a PNY SD, uh, which has eight gigabytes of of uh, storage. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here. Close this out. And here you see the standard uh, launcher. I am not running any effects because I noticed that it slowed it down considerably. But I want to show you what I did here. Uh, on the favorites, the only thing I added was, of course, the terminal because I do a lot of work at the command line. Uh, files and folders, standard uh, accessories. I made an effort to remove mono from the system to save some space, uh, but Tomboy Note still is up there, so I'm thinking it was reinstalled through one of the update processes. Uh, on the educational, I use a Bible program sometimes when I'm doing some writing, Bible time. It's a KDE program. The GNOME Sword version I don't find as useful as easy to use as the KDE versions so at the risk of taking up some disk space to load KDE libraries this particular program was worth it and the games I don't really play games right now except solitaire under graphics um, I'm gonna add the GIMP soon and perhaps the more extensive uh, Xsane scanner software because I've run into some problems on my main desktop using simple scan. Under internet, because I do web programming or website designs, uh, I had to make this as close to my desktop as possible. So I added a few things that I used to help me to do quick and dirty uh, website uh, changes or designs. For instance, I can't get Dreamweaver on this system because of the small amount of space, but I do have uh, a Maya. And of course, I ran Dreamweaver under a virtual box, a virtual machine. I have a Maya, which gives me a WYSIWYG interface. Uh, I have uh, GFTP, which I use for FTP programming. I use Google Chrome and Opera as alternative browsers to take a look at the website under different browsers. Uh, I also use Bluefish, to the uh, HTML editor, which is not WYSIWYG, but it's a pretty good e editor for programming and for website uh, maintenance and designs. Under sound and video, I, I edited a few, a couple of video programs, a Vidimux and OpenShot Editor. I didn't mess with PITIVI -I because OpenShot seems to be a OpenShot seems to be a pretty good editor. In fact, the final version of this video here will be edited and saved using uh, OpenShot. But I of course added GTK record my desktop. Uh, the system menu. Only thing I might have added was perhaps GParted. But I believe that was already there. But that's usually one thing that I do because it's not there. Overall, the system is pretty responsive once I remove the uh, effects. I tried using the simple 2D version of the launcher, but it was very confusing. It didn't respond to uh, the touchpad as readily as this one. So I'm going to have to stick with the uh, the clutter-based launch pad, even though it, it cuts down on response. And you notice it most often here with the menu. The system menu sometimes takes a good while to show up. So I just click here on sound and video. 
I hadn't seen anything yet. So there's a little delay there. But overall, the system's pretty responsive. For instance, if I want to do some HTML programming. Uh, one other thing I did, I installed uh, XAMP, which gives me a uh, MySQL PHP Apache environment so that I need to do some uh, programming using PHP for um, websites. So I'm able to do it from my notebook, netbook as well. W one little thing that I have some concerns about here is that if I go in make some changes to the system for instance the visual effects I clicked on none to get rid of the uh, the compares effects I believe that clutter needed to do all its magic but I can't change my mind because it's grayed out so if I wanted to change it I can't change it back same thing under Uh, where is it at? Startup applications. For instance, originally, I go through and remove any uh, demons that I don't need. But following the advice on a Ubuntu forum, I check the netbook launcher and Maximus in order to get rid of the clutter based launcher once I did that and I decided well I can't use this I wanted to go back to Maximus and the netbook launcher using clutter but it will grayed out just like you have here with the Bluetooth so how do you make a change I happen to stumble on the fact that in a directory or a config directory all I had to do was delete the entries for Maximus and launcher and it reappeared on the startup program um, I guess that's an advantage uh, Ubuntu is trying to make this easy for everybody so I guess it seemed difficult to me but maybe for others it's not overall impressions is a very attractive desktop very functional uh, what I don't like about it is the speed it does seem to run a bit slower it, it's faster than my desktop actually but it's a bit slower and especially compared to Lubuntu the lightweight LXDE environment it's very fast and very light on the disk space in fact I have it installed I have over two gigs of space free on the uh, four gig internal drive but this review is not about Lubuntu it's about uh, Ubuntu Lucid Lynx 10.4 so I recommend you you give it a shot and it's a worthy tool a worthy operating system to have if you want to do some work on the road using your laptop or your netbook uh, thank you very much